There is crime scene tape and evidence markers everywhere. A big police presence here as Miami Beach police investigate this double shooting. Two people shot and taken to the hospital. We don't know exactly how they're doing this morning, but we do know one person shot in the shoulder, another person shot in the leg. It started with words about car doors hitting each other. It ended with two men facing first degree attempted murder charges. Miami, Florida is one of the hottest locations for hip hop and rap artists to perform and record. And they can often be spotted at local restaurants. In 2021, several artists and their entourages met at Prime 112 for dinner. Before the meal had been served, shots were fired outside and confusion reigned as everyone took cover. Some of the artists who were carrying weapons became involved, while others scattered to avoid being injured. One of the managers tried to leave the scene to avoid the notoriety, but was caught and taken in for questioning. All right, man. So again, my name is Detective Corvo. This is Sergeant Gonzalez. Um, obviously, there was... What is your name? Gonzalez? Gonzalez. There was an incident that took place last night. In order for me to talk to you about it, I got to read you your Miranda warning. Okay. Because I don't know what you're gonna tell me. You told me that you murdered someone. You know what I mean? So I gotta read you your Miranda. So can I call my lawyer and have my lawyer come down with it? Uh, at this point, that's not how it's gonna work. No. So basically, I got stories from different people. All right. I need to see what you're going to tell me. Okay. As far as your involvement, so that I can either piece it together and release you, okay. or like I said, you tell me you fucking. You know, bro. trying to bomb somewhere. Bro, or I should. I mean, I didn't do nothing, bro. I like, this is like that. I you know a lot of people get in police custody and they play the. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I ain't gonna lie. It's bare times I was in police custody and I did something. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I didn't do nothing, bro. Like this, this is. Just, it's just so crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do anything. So like I said, in order for me to even hear anything like that, yeah, go ahead. I gotta, I gotta read it. All right, uh, you must understand the following rights before you're asking questions. So again, before I can ask you anything about what took place, because it was an incident where a crime occurred, I, I gotta read you this. You have the right to remain silent. You do not have to talk to me or answer any of my questions if you do not wish to do so. Do you understand that, right? Yes. So I'm gonna check them off at the end. You can just finish, okay? If I have a question about that, can I ask right now or do I bring it there? Uh, well, how about the right? Yo, what's the I, if I don't answer, no questions right now. If I say it right now, if you feel like I don't wanna talk to you, I'm going to jail, right? Like just off top, just because I just just you, it depends. It depends. Well, the, 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 I say I really did nothing, so okay. I don't mind talking to you. So go yeah, so uh, I agree with that. Work on that. Okay, number two. Should you talk to me? Anything that you say may be introduced into evidence again in court against you. You understand that, right? Yes. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before being questioned. To have a lawyer present during questioning. Do you understand that, right? Yes. Well, I just asked you if I got my lawyer to talk. I know. So I it's just you it. understand these, right? So this is not saying, but that's what's going to happen. This is saying that I have to read it to you, and you understand what I'm reading to you. Pretty much is what it's saying. Okay. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be provided for you at no cost if you want one. Do you understand that, right? Yes. Knowing these rights, are you now willing to answer my questions without having a lawyer present? You see how it ties in now? Knowing these rights, are you not willing to answer my questions without having a lawyer present? If that's, I mean, if I can't have my lawyer present, because that's what it sounds like you're telling me is that I can't have it. This is very simple. Yeah, you talk to us now, or, or you don't want to talk to us. I talk to you. you know I'm, I'm just saying shit. Well, it's either you should have your rights or you're waiting. So you have the right it's to talk to your attorney. attorney. We can't tell you what to but do. You, I can't you give you advice. Talk to us. I call friend. my attorney and he'll come right now. Like he'll, he will come. He'll drop whatever he's doing and come right now. <clears throat> that's not the way it's gonna happen. It's gonna work. We're not going to wait for that to happen. So we got to ask you. McCraith is hesitant to talk, knowing that even though he wasn't involved, he might say something that could be misconstrued. The thought of having to spend the night in a cell is the deciding factor, and he chooses to speak to the detectives. I don't even have time to sit around. Okay. Okay. And then, <clears throat> is this a uh, statement sent of your own free will and without any threats or promises having been made to you? It's print, signature, the date, which is the first already, unfortunately, and then the time. Oh, yeah. Print my name as subject? Oh, yeah. 
You know, subject of the interview, not suspect. Remember, suspect? No, I said subject. I know, I know, but just explaining. Subject means that you're the person of this interview. I know there's no way I'm a suspect in this. I just want to go home. I just don't want to go to jail. Just 6-1 of 2021. And the time is 10.40 a.m. What time? 10.40 a.m. Yeah, man. The artist probably doesn't even realize that we didn't even make it back to the crib. All right, so now we've done this. Tell me what happened last night, man. I know that you were at Primal 12. Who did you who did you go with to Primal 12? Um, I went with. Is kind of kind of one question. It's like whatever I say in the interview, like is that gonna like who the the, the rapper? Oh, yeah, will it go out? No, the man. Is this for us? For us. All right. I managed, I day-to-day -day managed Tory Lanez. I mean, he has enough going on with Tory Lanez. Um, you know what is a cool? Um, um, is a, um, he has a, his big song was the, um, you gotta do more than just say it. You gotta do, or, or he had the other one, the, um, everyone falls in oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were, we were there. We were there. Um, I flew in. We had a show last night in Dallas. Flew in today. I think uh, uh, regard. I don't even think that matters what time we flew. Okay. We flew in. Boom. Went home. Went to sleep. They woke up. They called me like, "Yo, let's go to Prime." Da -da -da. I'm like, "All right, bro, let's go to Prime." Boom. We get to Prime now. Uh, the the lady comes and gets us. Um, the general manager. They take us to the to the upstairs to the to the private room. Okay. We're in there. Boom. You guys we're, inside already at this time? Yeah, we're inside already. We're inside. Side. Um, when we got there, it wasn't any celebrities like that yet. Everyone started coming after. It was like everyone tried to catch the 10:30 reservation at the end before the kitchen closed. You know, so we're all in there. Um, ordered some water, some drinks, and um, the reason why we get that private room is because they let us smoke you know, mm -hmm. upstairs. You know, they charge us like a thousand dollars for the room, yeah. some crazy shit. And they'll let you smoke, do whatever you're doing. You know, it's private. You don't have to worry about fans making it up there. Yeah, and all that mm -hmm. shit. So we're up there and we're hanging out. Um, we go out on the balcony in the front. Um, have you ever been to Prime 12? Yeah. Uh, you know when you're facing Prime 12, you know the top layer? Yeah. I'm standing on that. On the balcony. On, on the balcony. Gotcha. We're standing. Because they, they, they wanted us to sit at the table out there, but we didn't want everyone pulling up and then seeing us um, standing at the table. So we, we did the, the upstairs back room. So we're in there. Um, we go out and we're back and forth, smoking on the balcony, going back in, talking to the girls, Bible coming back out. Then um, I have one more question, bro. I'm gonna keep it buck with you guys, bro. I really just don't want to go to jail, bro. All right, nothing to do with this. I, I, if I give you the best of my, can I just please go home, bro? Uh, it's like, I'm almost, we're just gonna talk to you. Yeah, bro. I, don't I can't promise you anything. Like, like, bro, I, don't I, don't even know. Know. I, mean, I see the baby, right? And the, Where the, the detectives that was asking us about that shit, right? Because I know that's what this is really about. That's why it's really blowing my mind that I'm really still in jail. Because I, I know you guys know that that was over there somewhere, whatever happened with them. Well, because I, the, 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 the original let's, detective let's, asked let's questions. Keep going. Let's, let's keep going. The original the bucket. asked me about him already. Like, asked me, like, yo, did you see the other rapper? Did you see the rapper? Yo, bro, they pulled up. Um, I'm talking to Tori, like, yo, bro, let's go downstairs and holler at him because we just did a record with him that we're having a problem playing the record. Like, let's go talk to him uh, about the situation because it was just a little mixed blood with us getting on before them. I think they might have paid us. That's irrelevant. We might have, we just, we did something with them before. And now, like, I guess, like, they feel a little way, but we squashed it. We've been working together. So I'm like, yo, let's go sing it up. And then Tori is so crazy, bro. Because Tori's like, nah, bro. I don't want to talk to that nigga, bro. I don't like the way the nigga be moving up straight. And we're sitting there trying to convince Tori to go downstairs and talk to him. And as we start convincing Tori to go downstairs and Tori's dubbing it, I'm like, yes. McCreeth shares the same reaction as Jonathan DeBaby Kirk, who was closer to the original shots. Anyways, hey, so AR ready. Blah, 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 whatever's going on over there. Come, come, come with us. We boom, come walk around. We go into the side door. As soon as we get right into this corner, it's a damn security guy with me and everything. As soon as we get like right here, right before we get to the corner, bop, 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 bop. Must be gun salute. Oh. Bop, bop. 
I'm thinking it's a firework at first, but then I'm thinking like, nah, it's too loud. Like, it's too loud. It sounds too close. Who's shooting a firework? I hear another one again. Now we duck down. Everyone's ducking down. We're crawling on the floor on the balcony. We open the door. I push my artist inside, but we're crawling on the floor. Um, the other kid I work with, Jabbar, that you guys just released, he was he was saying like, yo, let's just stay here in the private room and eat, bro. Who's Jabbar? Um, he was he was here with us too. Um, he was just released. Uh, like I said, I talked to his other I got with the long hair with the braids. Oh, okay. like he, you guys, I think you guys took him back to the bench. He was the driver. When we okay. Pulled over. You feel me? Okay. So we all now he met us there. Me and Tori, we drove in two separate cars. Now, what what type of car did you go? I I, I have a silver S550 Mercedes. Uh, I believe it's in 2018. If it's not an 18, it's a 17. Um, if you go out there and check my my back right window, um, I was in an accident around my birthday last year, and since I got the car back, I've been having a problem with manually putting up and down the window. So my Benz is the one that the window is down. And then Tori's car is in the shop, and he's driving a rental Mercedes as well. And his Mercedes, um, his Mercedes uh, is a silver as well. Mm -hmm. We left both the cars there because um, the valley was locked, like. I almost want to say it was the lieutenant that's here, that's doing that was here just now. I almost want to say it was him standing in front telling us that we couldn't get the keys. And Tori's telling him like, "Yo, bro, I know you probably don't know who I am, but bro, I'm a celebrity, and I really can't even be around this right now. I have my own situations going on. I, I just need to go." They was telling us we couldn't get the keys. We couldn't get the keys. We couldn't get the keys. Boom. We're like, "All right." So we start walking now. Now they start putting up the the yellow lines and shit, and we start walking. Mind you, my brother's walking, gotta be $180,000 in chains on his neck. Who's that? Uh, Tori, yeah, we're walking down the street, we're walking. No security, no nothing, like, just walking, because they're not letting us all get the keys. So, I think that's why they might have seen us moving around a lot. Again, that's because my brother's a celebrity, even though, yeah, you guys don't know who he is. I mean, we were taking pictures the whole time we were in there, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what that was about. We were just trying to, um, to move fast and get him away from the the restaurant so now they put up the lines I think I want to say we walked down second and ocean that's ocean that from on top is on right yeah. so we walked down second towards you know where the big pink is yeah we walked around towards the big pink by like a gift from God we end up seeing another artist that's signed the tour that lives here in Miami as well but we weren't even together he just randomly was driving by I wave him down Who's that guy? Um, his name's David. He's gone though. He wasn't even at that. He wasn't even at Prime Talk. What's his artist name? Uh, Dable. D A Dable. Yeah, he wasn't even. He wasn't even on. He was not related to any of that. Yeah, he wasn't no, at was the he restaurant. restaurant. No, nah, he Dable wasn't even at the. It was just a coincidence that we're walking down the street and you we see him see by him, pink? and we see him by Big Pink on um, driving, and he's like, "Yo, what happened?" And we're, I'm telling him, I'm like, "If some guys laid out on the street," he's like, "Oh shit, I knew somebody had to happen." I'm like, "Yo, bro." Take Tori and take him, bro. We gonna try to figure out the situation with the car. And Tori had a, 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 a female with him. So he got in the car. The police are never happy when someone leaves the scene of the crime, even if that person isn't involved. They will have to be tracked down as potential witnesses at the very least, which takes extra time and manpower. I recently posted the deposition of Tupac Shakur, ad-free, on my Patreon page. You can watch that and many more Patreon exclusive videos right now at patreon.com backslash stranger stories plus. The other person, the, um, I, David and uh, our engineer, they all got in the car and they left. Now we're trying to get the keys back and the cops just, I'm talking to the cop, it's cool. she's cool though, she's not being disrespectful, she's cool. She's like, yo, ain't gonna lie, even if I give you the keys, you can't get the car from over there. We're blocking that whole thing in, just go home and come back. Bet by luck, we chance him. the other guy you let go. He didn't valet, he parked his car on the street. Yeah, well, right. yeah so he was. Uh, I've been using his nickname for so long. I think his real name is Jabbar. Jabbar, mm -hmm. so Jay, Jay drove. He, we all got in the car. We walked. Uh, uh, his car was parked by the big pink. So, first, we first we walked down um Collins towards. Set first, you know where um, 
uncut it is and yeah so we walk down there because so you go instead of going north you go south of Pop. yeah we're walking because the other kid too that was released kadeem kadeem's trying to get tori's car out the valley so he actually got the keys they the guy actually ended up giving kadeem the valley guy actually ended up giving kadeem the keys i didn't get my keys but he gave him tori's keys and was like because he just realized you know tori comes all the time he just gave him the keys he actually got in the car and started trying to drive away and they blocked off the whole street and he parked the car at the Dream Hotel. He validated back at the Dream Hotel and jumped out. So he's not from here, he's from Toronto. So he's walking around not knowing where he's at. And I'm like, yo, what street are you on? So I walk down Collins now all the way to first and come back and get him. <clears throat> and then we walk back to the car. As we jump in the car, we drive away. Like, you know, and that's why it was so, it was just something we would have never seen coming that we was getting pulled or nothing because we was, we was on the beach for a while, even after the thing, just trying to figure out the car and this and that. So now we get in the car, we drive, we make it to Fish Street. The bridge is looking crazy on Fish Street. We make the right on Alton. I was gonna, I told him to take the Venetian because we live downtown. Um, the Tory, so you live downtown. So I'm like, you'll take the Venetian down to 17th, and then you know, you just you get off the, the beach like that. It's probably not mad people trying to do that yet. Bro, lights come on. We're all not even thinking where you're getting pulled over, bro. Jay's like, you're not drawing us, right? We don't. Yeah, all right. He starts. He stops for a second, and then we see all the the lights come on, and we see the, all the cops getting out the car. But they're not like directly behind us. They're like a little distance behind us, so we're not thinking they're pulling us. So Jay almost started driving, and then I seen how I knew is the cop that was in the first car jumped in the car quick when he seen the car moving. I'm like, no, 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 stop the car. They're trying to pull us over. They're trying to pull us over. It's mad guns out. I'm like, stop the car, stop the car. He stops the car. And then they start telling us, like, yo, put your hands out the window, turn the car off, and then uh, open the front door, and open this door, and just got out. And got us. All right. Like, so just backing up a little bit, okay? Because I didn't want to interrupt what you were talking. So when the shooting first starts happening, you're still upstairs. Yeah. All right. It was the first shooting that you yeah, said? Yeah, it was like a, 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 I couldn't count how many shots. But it was when, when, when they told us 60, I was like, what? I wanted to say three, then maybe six the next time or something like that. But then again, I'm ducking. I'm looking up too, because I'm curious. Because you know, it's, there's a, it's a celebrity standing down there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking too at the same time like, oh, damn. But I'm ducking, we're all ducking under the tables and shit. And then there's like, it was like a three shots or something, three or four, and then, then it was like another extended bunch of shots, like, bam, 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 bam. Oh, when I seen in between that, I seen the black, all right, after the first set of shooting, boom, we went inside now, you feel me? We went back in the restaurant, in the restaurant. So Yeah, because the room we're eating at, it's right next to the balcony door. That's why they put us there. So we go back inside. Again, like I was saying, Jay saying, Tori saying, let's, let's cut. Tori's like, let's go, bro. Uh, and then Jay's like, no, nah, let's not go. Let's stay here. Let's eat. Let's give them time for that to cool down, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. Now, it's a little delay between the two shots. It's not right back to back. Now, we come back out. We start seeing all the police is pulling up in the cruisers. But these is regular black and whites, like in the uh, trucks. They're pulling up now. And then we see the guy laying on the floor. So we're like, yo, bro, the guy. Did. Two people were injured during the incident. One was released with minor injuries, but the second was permanently paralyzed. The killer guy. But the guy's kind of moving. So that's what we're looking at. Then I see like a black Chrysler 300. I, I, it was a black Chrysler. I think it was a 300. See that shit? Mm -hmm. And it was like, um, it was in the front. And I see some people like, like, like around the car, and then I see the, the I just heard a skirt like the car trying to pull off, and when the car tried to pull off, um, when the car tried to pull off, one person jumped on the hood like this, like hey 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 hey, and then he turned the wheel, and the guy kind of flew back. Who are you gonna do? Do you know who that person was? In the in the black Chrysler? No, the person that was stop, trying to stop the car. I'm not sure, bro. You see I know why, bro. I think it was the baby's camp, bro. I think it was the baby's camp, bro. I'm not going to jail. I think it was the baby's camp. No, no, I'm just asking. The I think it was the baby's camp. 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 I think it was the ba
dumb. It's like, and then it's like we all work together in music, so I'm not even really trying to be out here driving on the No, game. man, bro, I know and that. It comes out Listen, and it's like, nothing like that. No, not, I know you don't try to, you know, we're just trying to figure out what happened. You happen to be there, you know, obviously, we'd like to know if you recognize the person. He didn't do nothing wrong, he just put his hands on yeah. the park. You know what I mean? Saying, I think he almost got run over, but he almost got ran over. Yeah, yeah that's what caught my attention. Right now, he's like a victim to us, so I want to know. So he's like on the shit like this. Who's that guy? I want to, it was so quick. It was. I want to say it's somebody. It was somebody with the baby. Okay. Like you, you know, think? You think yeah. possibly? Okay. Possibly. Oh, it was somebody with the baby, bro. Okay. It was someone with the baby, bro. It was someone with the baby. Because for a matter of fact, they all jumped back in that black escalator. I don't even know how the cops let them pull off, bro. Like I'm talking about the second shooting. It's police standing as close as the door. Yeah, there's like lights, lights and sirens already here, right? Yeah, there's police there already, bro. I I, I can't even believe this. That this is, this is going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm upstairs. I'm looking. I seen a guy put his hands on the front of the car like that. It was just happening so fast. Like I can't. I don't know why he's trying to stop the Chrysler. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why he's trying to stop the Chrysler. You know? I think they shot at the Chrysler. It's, I think that's the what second shooting. What, 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 what happens after when you see the Chrysler pulling off? All right. When I see the Chrysler pulling off, all right. First it's like a skirt, and like he's still kind of on the car, and then the guy he's wearing like a white tank top. He's wearing a white tank top or a white t-shirt. I think it's a white tank top. Mm-hmm. And he like he jumps back like off the shit like this kind of. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you just it's like it's like I was looking at where they were, but I, I don't think it was right there where the shooting was. I think the shooting was like a little bit to the right or something, because then you just started hearing it again. Bum 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 and they're just shooting. And you're on the balcony, right? I'm on the balcony on the at this balcony. point. <laughs> Most of my team already went back inside. I think now it's just me, Tori, and I don't know, I don't know that guy's name, his real name, but we we were all in the car together. He was wearing the white shirt, the guy who had all his stuff in the cap. Okay. He he was he was on the balcony with me. It was me and him on the balcony. They shot it up. They they shot the they were shooting it up. Like me and him ducked down. Me and him was ducking down. They was they was they started shooting again. Then when I looked up, when I looked up. Like, I just don't want to, because it was kind of fast, bro, and it's something that I didn't see happen. But I want to say I seen the baby securities with their guns up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm positive that's what I see. I'm not trying to be a snitch. I'm not trying to be nothing. But in all reality, bro, I can't even. You're not being a snitch. I can't, I can't, bro. I can't, even, what I can't even be involved in this. Like, my life and my situation that I got going on right now, bro, like, I can't even be involved in this. Like, and I know that's why I got held here. And all of that throughout all this shit, because you guys see that I was already a convicted felon. And it's just like, yeah, bro, I can't even be involved in this. I didn't have no gun, bro. I didn't shoot no gun. Like, that's not even, life's so good at this point and right now, I'm not even, like, you know, we're outside of no security. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is good right now. Like, I, I don't even. Did you see anybody shooting? I didn't see, okay, I didn't see any shooting. Like, it was too much, bro. Cause you gotta remember, bro, as soon as the gun starts going off, I'm ducking. You know, oh, I, so I'm ducking and I'm coming back up to oh, shit. Man. So, so. From McCreath's vantage point, the shooting wouldn't have been immediately visible. It would have been impossible to see anything while he was trying to take cover. Like, if you keep this off the record, bro, like, honestly, the baby got two bodyguards that are twins, bro. And I, I seen the niggas with guns in their hand, bro. I all positive I seen the baby walk out. The baby, but the baby was in the restaurant now. They got rushed the baby in the restaurant. Now the baby's coming out. He has his backpack. I think he had a gun when, when he was coming out. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. All this time that y'all sat here and waited, made me wait 12 hours to talk to me, all this shit. I don't remember. That nigga probably, probably them niggas probably caught the jet and, and, and are out of here already. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is rich. Like, they probably, like, you know what? They even, if they had any kind of involvement in that, they're not even here. Like, just go try to look for them. They're not here no more than you know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Did you see anybody else from the, uh, the babies? They all jumped in. It. They all jumped in this black escalator. No, no, I'm asking you. You know them by name or by like uh, nickname and stuff. You know any uh, other artists that you could see there? Besides the only the artists I've seen is the baby. That's the only one. Yeah. Everyone sees the baby. I know I'm not the only person I told you that. Somebody at that restaurant. Yeah, no. It, he, it, that kid's going crazy it, right now. He's one of the biggest urban acts right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was a kid that we was on before him, and he blew by us. Like you know, so that's what kind of the animosity is between us. He paid us for a feature a while ago. We had a problem clearing the record, so that's so it's always been kind of weird with us, you know. But we have a new record coming out that's supposed to be big. We're having problems. His management, our management. So it's 
So we're actually up there sitting there like, yo, let's go holler at the nigga. Like, let's go talk to him. Bro. Which is a good business idea. Let's go talk to him. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. telling him, I'm like, yo, let's go to my brother, bro. He's not on that, bro. He's Why? like, he's like, he's a hot. He's just, he's like, man, fuck this nigga. Hot head. He's like, nah, not even a hot head. He's just like, fuck this nigga, bro. Like, I'm more talented than this nigga. Now he's in a position that because he's a little bit hotter than me right now. Because when they did this song originally, my brother was like one of the hottest niggas on the internet. I don't know if you know about the situation with him getting arrested. No. Uh, yeah. So my brother was arrested on some crazy shit. That was another reason why we just he just needed that to be around him to hit. So after that, they just started moving funny, which is weird. And Tori doesn't like his manager because it's not even the baby; it's the manager. It's the manager. It's like, it's like say like you're a black and white. You feel me? And there's a detective that's always giving you a problem. And then now you're the detective. You're bigger than the detective. Like you know what I'm saying? So now you're just shitting on the day. Like they're just moving weird. Like you know. Yeah. So as I'm sitting there, we're sitting there on I the, not, the only reason we're not downstairs, that. right? When all the shooting's going on, is because Tori is saying, "Nah, I don't want to go talk to him." So uh, let me ask you something. Said, Obviously, if we're here to find out what happened, we're just ruling out any type of uh, issue between you guys over there. You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, bro. We yes. just, you guys were upstairs. I, I understand there. that 100. Okay. I agree with you, bro. bro. My thing I'm is, why would you people. leave in the middle of all this shit, bro? All right, well, it died down. Oh, like, man. after the last part, it died down. Gotcha. And then, bro, the, the, the people in the restaurant are running out of the restaurant. I'm talking about waitresses is running. Everyone is running. In the, yeah. There's mayhem in the restaurant, bro. Like, I'm talking about, I know nobody paid for their food just now. I probably won't talk lost wild money just now. Playing the scene could be taken as a sign of guilt, but it is also a natural reaction when shots are being fired. Most people in the area were trying to distance themselves as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? It's a mayhem. It's a mayhem, bro. And it's so crazy, bro. Cause like we we didn't even want to leave, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? There's all types of people in the restaurant right now for us to, for business purposes, pleasure purposes. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't really trying to leave, but just after the second shooting, the second shooting was so crazy that it was just like. Did you guys finish eating or no? Bro, no, we eat nothing. Oh, we you guys were waiting, to eat, bro. We ate. We had just got there. We yeah. had just probably got there 20 minutes before he got there. Like we just got there, bro. We just flew in from Dallas. Like, we just came from Dallas earlier. We've been on the road for this whole memorial. Vegas, uh, fucking Miami, back to LA, back to, like, just do 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 Everyone left. I was just like, man. I was in the house by myself. I'm like, All right, fuck it. I'm gonna go. Got up. I went. Went to go fuck with him. And this shit happened, bro. I wish. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't never coming back to the beach, bro. I am coming back out here. It's, so, it's, it is too much out here every time. Bro. So I just want to verify, man. So obviously we're gonna review tons of video, but you know downstairs. Down oh, well, the, the one girl we was with had a video. But I don't even know her. She was just some random girl. She was videotaping it. Like, you can, like, hear it. Like, but, like, you know, the shootings, and she's ducking and shit. But, like, you hear the Chrysler stirred off. I'm not sure if it's the Chrysler they shot up. My friend said it was the Chrysler they shot up. They said, it was, like, I ducked. You know what I'm saying? I started ducking and shit. So I'm coming up. But the Chrysler was still driving off. And then all the babies, niggas, they jumped in that black Escalade right there. I don't even know how y'all didn't stop it, bro. Like, I don't know how. The baby's group was apprehended a short distance away, and they were taken in for questioning. All that happened, and everyone just made it. Like, the Chrysler, y'all didn't catch the Chrysler either? I just don't even. I'm talking about this police right now. Well, we got everybody. Oh. We got everybody. Everybody, oh. everybody we got, so you know. <laughs> oh, so you, you're not putting anybody out there. We got everybody, yeah. including you. That may have nothing to do with the incident. So, do we got to talk to everybody? Everybody's here, bro. You got the baby right here. Everybody's here. Everybody. Oh, bro. So, let me ask you a question. Yeah, bro. What's so the deal with the gun in the car? Guys over here, bro. Huh? Let me go. Bro. What's the deal with the gun in the car, man? Bro, again, I drove there in my car. I'm not lying. We can go right now. I'll show you my car, bro. My car is the S Class where the window is down. It's going to be down on the right rear because there's something wrong with my shit. I don't know why. I was actually supposed to go there today. I don't know why. I can't wind the window down. If I wind it down, I can't wind it back up. They got to put like a computer up to it and put it back up. And then they, they ordered me the new part and it's just still not going down. We're trying to figure out what it was. I didn't, I was in that, I'm only in that car, bro, because you, they wouldn't give me my keys to my valet. They would have gave me my keys, bro. I didn't, 
I've been like that. Like I drive by myself, bro, or at, at the at the or with Tori. Otherwise, or with like Tori Security. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. If it's not Tori Security driving us, I drive Would there myself. be any reason that the other people in the car would say that the gun is yours? No, nah, they could never say that. And if anyone says that, bro, it's like they could never even say that. They even, bro, like, bro, don't even tell me they said no shit like that, bro. Cause I, there's no way they could even say that, bro. Like, no way. Like, it's too many ways we could verify that I didn't come there in that car, bro. My car's sitting outside in the parking lot right now. We pulled up two two S classes, silver S classes, back to back. Tori should have rental. My should have my car. I, um, it's in my sister's name. I fucking I pulled up. We went in. They wouldn't let us leave. I begged them for my keys. I, was, I begged them. Like Tori sitting there arguing. With, it got to be a cop that's gonna remember Tori Lane standing there with all them chains on, begging for his keys. It's summer. We're standing there begging them, begging them for the keys, bro. That's the only reason I got in that car. The only reason I got in that car was because I couldn't get my keys. I drove there myself. Couldn't get my keys. Fuck it. was like, alright, bet. I was really I thought about walking, bro. I was gonna start walking until I seen the cab. It was it was the Tory, it was the Tory situation of getting Tory out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that commotion on the y'all worrying about the shooting. A nigga could see that as a sweet lick, you know what I'm saying? Tory running around with all them chains yeah, on, like yeah, and, sure. anything, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so no, actually, there's, there's no, no reason. reason. So, no, relax. There's no, no reason. reason. There's no reason that anyone in the car, like I said. Do you know people in the car well? That was about to say, how y'all let them get away, bro? Like, no, that shit was crazy. Oh, but beach? So, who went through that on the beach? Like I said, in the car, did you, uh, on a scale of one to ten, how well would you say you knew the people in the car? Like a five, being halfway? You know the names of the people on the, in that car that was, the, where you guys got stuck? I only know one person's name. Who was that? One person was Javar. Javar Winter. Javar Winter. I know I know Javar Winter. Uh, what was he doing in the car? Driving? Crutch. It's his car. Okay. Um, I know JVR Winter since 2014. So there was a bunch of people in the car? Yeah. When you guys got stuff? Okay. What car was it again? I'm sorry. Black S Class. Black S Class. That's 550. Yeah, the same car as me. That's just a little bit new. And the one. Did anyone get in the car with you, or was it you got in the car on your own? Um, you said you've been walking with, with someone, yeah. So yeah, me and Jay walked up to the car, and then I got out the car and I walked back to go get Kadeem. Oh yeah, Kadeem. I know Kadeem too. Kadeem Brown. Kadeem. I think his last name is Brown. I'm not sure, but Kadeem. Kadeem Brown. Yes. Yeah, I know Kadeem very well too. Okay. I honestly, I know the other guy with the cap too. I just don't know his name. You know, you don't really ask people their first name. Yeah. Stuff. Like I work with these guys. Like, you know, yeah, it's a simple you know, question. You know, fights, like, you know, just fights and stuff like that. Oh, uh, I, I missed the part where when you get in that car. Where was it? You said by by uncut. Uh, no, I, I walked. I met uh, Kadeem at uh, by uncut, and me and Kadeem walked back towards um, Big Pink, and they gave you the. And then um, we were parked like right there by Big Pink. Jabbar was. Jabbar didn't valley. Right, Some reason Jabbar didn't valley. I'm not sure why. But for some reason he didn't valley. You know, we valleyed and then that ended up being his. Jabbar is the guy with a long dress, right? Bridge. 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 Investigation that was a you know, like as I stopped you, they found that on you or like in the car next to you or whatever. We don't know that part of it. Uh, it okay. was nowhere, I never seen the gun. They found the gun in the car. I That's why I'm asking is there any reason someone in the car would say that you had a gun or that you used they a gun? They could never even said that, bro. Like, I mean, that's what you're trying to tell me that that's what they said, then just tell me that they said that, bro. Like, no way, bro. Not. I, I want to verify all the statements. That I can verify, I know there's a way we can verify that I drove there. No, look, 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 it's not that not it's, I don't doubt that you drove there, but this is, uh, let me be devil's advocate for you. Uh-huh. Someone would be like, yeah, you drove here, but you had it on. You know what I'm saying? So let, I think we're good for now. I'm going to go. You know, the craziest part, I don't know why they're so scared of that gun, because I'm pretty sure that gun got legally registered. Right? Like, I'm pretty sure that that's 
right? What happens is a lot of these people. Um, I'm the and the crazy part. I'm the only one who can really get in trouble for the gun. Nobody else wants to admit that it's their gun. I'm the only one who can really get in trouble for the gun. And the crazy part about that. So, all right. Give me a few. I'm gonna review the other statements. I'm gonna be right back. All right now. So, do you want any water? Yeah. You got. You got to have to have that. Uh, I got chips. I got chips. I don't even think I ate much like the last 24 hours. So let me get you some. I gotta go to the cheap building. I'm trying to chip you. Yeah, I'm gonna get you some water. Yeah, I'm gonna get you some water. With McCreed's habit of going off track, it is difficult for the detectives to keep all of the details straight. Mikhail McCreed was not involved in the shooting and was released after questioning. Thanks again for tuning in. Drop a like if you like this video, and check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel even more. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.